Hello everyone, welcome back to Nude Wellness. I'm Selena, if you are new here. And as always, this channel is about manifesting and the law of assumption. Lovely to be back with you. Let's jump into today's video. So make time your best friend and watch things shift quickly for you. Okay, so this is the paradox of manifesting. This may just be an assumption, okay? Like I have said in all my other videos, anything anyone ever tells you is just their assumptions on how the law of assumption works. So I clearly have an assumption that if you chill and make time your best friend, things will happen much more quickly for you, okay? That's my assumption based on the experiences I have had. So what I wanna say is when you are coming from this kind of detached state where you're not focused on time, things speed up, okay? Whether that is more of an experiential thing where you are not, by not focusing on time, it doesn't feel as long. Maybe that's the case. Or maybe the actual fact that not focusing on time and you knowing you're going to get what you want actually speeds up the manifestation process. Whether it's both, whether it's one or the other, look, I'll take it. So coming from this state of knowing of detachment allows you to feel in control, like I mentioned, where time doesn't matter to you and then shit happens so much more quickly. In my experience anyway, and in the experience of my clients and those who I've kind of been helping with manifestation in general. So recently I have been experimenting with longer guided meditations to kind of get more into this detached feeling state throughout the day. And by doing that, what I've been doing is, so when I kind of am detached and feeling really good, when I do come to consciously affirming for different desires, I'm coming from this really like neutral and calm place. And it just feels so much better for me. And I'm enjoying the process like more. It's also solidifying the notion that creation is fun. Creation is effortless. Like I'm the one who's in charge of my own reality. So why should it be such a, a tedious or drawn out process? Or why should it feel like work? I would much rather it feel super easy, super chill. Even if, like I said, it's just an assumption where me not focusing on time allows me to kind of speed things up. So like I said, I have been um, experimenting with longer guided meditations, in particular this one meditation by um, Joe Dispenza. It's about 15 minutes long. Uh, I think it's like the first meditation once you type in Joe Dispenza meditation. Um, he speaks for about 10 minutes and then the rest of it is just music. So what I have been doing is I've kind of been getting into like this blank state, just picturing being in a dark room where everything's kind of black and just breathing into that and listening to the music and kind of just like zoning out and then if I feel called to throughout the meditation I might be like okay cool I'm gonna bring in some visuals of things that I want to manifest or maybe I am just visualizing words and I'm kind of affirming for a little bit and just seeing where it kind of takes me so what I have been doing like I said I've been enjoying the process more what's amazing though each time I've been doing that where I'm meditating and then I will affirm afterwards I've started to see movement all the full manifestation happen straight after which is incredible which is great so the reason why I've been doing that is to kind of experiment and see if I can speed up my own process. This again might just be an assumption that I somewhere in my subconscious mind have this assumption that all oh, meditation allows me to manifest more quickly, whether that is like when I think about it and try and analyze it. My mom used to meditate a lot when I was a kid and maybe it's that. Maybe there is, I'm like, I remember things like that. My subconscious mind remembers, oh, mom used to manifest and mom used to manifest. Mom used to meditate, it must be good for you. Or maybe it was when I was very much in the law of attraction community as a teenager or like in my early 20s. 20s. It was about like, okay, you got to be high vibe and feeling really good. And that's how you manifest. Um, and maybe it's part of that. Again, we all know you don't have to be high vibe to manifest. You don't have to be super happy all the time to manifest. You're manifesting regardless, but why wouldn't you want to feel happy and calm and chill and enjoy the process a lot more? That's my opinion anyway. Um, so yes, that's what I've been doing, feeling really good. And I think it's important to be experimenting with your own process and seeing what kind of works. If there are assumptions that you're allowed to kind of, um, that work in your favor, kind of run with it. Like if meditation, if the assumption for me that meditation or just being chill and calm in general and being in this state of knowing is an assumption that works for me, let's just go with it. Do you know what I mean? So time is going to pass anyway. So you might as well just be using it to your advantage. Keep repeating your affirmations or your visuals. So that they become your habitual thoughts. So they become your dominant way of thinking. And that repetition of your affirmations over time, like we know, will be what allows you to believe your affirmations and have things show up into your 3D. Um, so like I said, you don't need to meditate to manifest, um, but I wanted to see if I could speed up my own process. It's all about repetition of your affirmations, your way of thinking that is going to bring those manifestations um, to pass. But it's been feeling really good so far. And I've been really happy with how quickly 
things have been shifting and just how centered and in control I've been feeling of things. So let me know if you are going to try that yourself. What other ways? Or before I do say goodbye to you. Also, what's great about meditation and just breath work in general, when you're feeling really triggered, particularly me when I'm kind of coming up to my period or I've just started my period, I'm feeling more anxious than normal. Obviously, it's the hormones and I want to check the 3D for things or I want to just like have be more in control of things rather than be detached and being able to do five, 10 minutes of breath work or doing kind of an extended meditation if I feel like it or even five, 10 minutes of a meditation, a guided meditation, I think is a lot easier to do than to kind of sit in silence and try clear your mind. Um, That allows me to kind of center and stabilize myself and also to kind of remind myself like, hey, get your shit together, Selena. Like you're the one who's in charge. Why are you freaking out? Why are you wanting to to control things? Things are working out for you regardless. So there's no need for you to be checking the 3D and to be causing drama in your own mind that's not there. Like that's the thing that really irks me, especially like it's one thing, I think I said this in the last video, it's one thing to react and get upset about something that kind of blindsides you or happens in your 3D and kind of feel those feelings and then get back on your manifestation game. But it's another thing entirely for you to be getting upset about thoughts that you're having in your head that nothing is happening in your 3D. Like you're literally making yourself upset for no reason. So when I do that, especially during that time of the month, I'm kind of like, Selena, what the hell? Calm yourself down. Like this hasn't even happened. Chill, breathe. And having those tools in my toolkit of breath work or meditation is just a cool way and just a quick way of being able to be like, okay, cool. Let's just do this and kind of get back on track. So that's today's video. I intend that this was very helpful for you. Um, For those interested in email coaching, as always, details are in the description below. Connect with me over on Instagram. Remember your reality, your rules. Stay well, and I'll speak to you the next one. Toodles.